Look, Massimo, if you got some place you gotta be, we can do this tomorrow. Oh, no. I'm here now, okay? Let's get it over with. Uh, let me see these figures again. We're not gonna accomplish anything if your head's not in the game here. What's going on? I'm waiting on a call from your mother. You two get into a fight? No, 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 no. We're fine. It's Brooke. What about Brooke? Nothing. Brooke and Mother get into it again? God, I warned Mother about this. We've got to keep our distance from Forrester. The showing's only a few weeks away, and we can't make them suspicious. We've got to keep the element of surprise here. Right. And we will. So don't worry. This has absolutely nothing to do with the showing. Okay, then what is it then? Tell me. What's going on? Bridget, come here, now! Oh. What? Your mother says that she's in labor, so let's take her to the hospital. No, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, of course you will. Stephanie, the hospital's like half an hour away. I'm having the baby now. No, you're not. You just started the contractions. Oh, no, they started a while ago. I just didn't say anything. All right, let's call the hospital and have an ambulance sent okay, over. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's having another one. All right, call oh. the hospital. Okay. Call the hospital. Oh. 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 Hi, hello. Hi, this is Bridget Forrester. Um, my mother's in labor, and we need an ambulance. We're, we're on Big Bear Lake, in the last house on Pinecrest Road. Okay, our ambulance is on a call. It's going to be at least an hour before they get to your location. An hour? Oh, she, she's not gonna make it. How close are her contractions? Um, I don't know, I don't know. She, she said she's been having them, but we didn't know, and they're coming faster now. Oh, God, the ambulance can't get here. We have to take her in on our own. No, I am not gonna have this baby in that car. Listen to me. You're not gonna have this baby in front of your daughter, do you understand? If you're really gonna have this baby, I'll carry you down that mountain on my back if I have to, but you're going to the hospital right now. Quick, Sal, close your eyes. What for, Darla? I have a surprise for you. No, thanks. Come on, you don't even know what it is. I don't have to know, Darla. I know about surprises. It has been my experience that 99% of the time, they all mean bad news. Trust me on this. That's not true. Darla, of course it's true. Think about the last time you were surprised. I mean, what happens when you're doing your laundry and you leave one red sock in the washing machine? From that moment on, every time you wash your whites, they come out pink. Well, I guarantee. This surprise is going to put the hugest smile on your face. <laughs> Honey, there's only one thing that puts a huge smile on this face now, and that is the sight of Mojo Maroney outside the door, ready to walk in with another great big check for us. Oh, Sal, this is so much better than Mojo's millions. You have to trust me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I really haven't got time, Darla. I am terribly busy. Just leave me alone. I'm busy. Hey, Mom. <gasps> CJ. <laughs> oh, son, you're here. I can't see. Come on, let's go to the car. It's too late. Stop saying that. Stephanie, I've had two children. I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna make it to the hospital. If you're really gonna have this baby, you're not gonna have it here. I have no choice. No, you listen to me. No, you listen to me. You're not gonna have it in this cabin, and you're certainly not gonna have it in front of that girl. I'm sorry, honey. I didn't want to put you through this. Oh, shut up. This is the worst day of her life. What do you want her to do? Sit here and watch you have Deacon's baby? No! Stephanie, I'm not leaving. No, you're right, you're not. 
but we are. Come on, I'm taking you. Wait. No, now. Oh, does she having another contraction? It's a little too soon. But she's right, she's not gonna make it into town. Call the hospital and see if they'll send a doctor here. Uh, the nurse said that there's a doctor who lives around here and they're gonna page him and try to get him to come over. Did you hear that? They're gonna page a doctor, so you just have to wait. Hold on. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> You're gonna have to do it. What? Oh. I'm not, me, no. Oh, Stephanie, please. I don't know anything about delivering a baby, Brooke. I've got to get you to the hospital. We've got to get you there now. Come on, please, let's leave. No, I am not going anywhere. I'm having this baby now, and I'm not leaving here, whether you like it or not. Oh, CJ. My darling boy, let me look at you. <laughs> I told you it was a good surprise, though. It was better than good, darling. It was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> well, come on, son. Talk to us. Tell us everything. How you been doing? It's been a rough year. Oh? Well, you know, I told you, if you were having any problems, you could have come home any time. If I told you once, I told you a hundred times. Oh, Mom, I know. And look, I believe me, I didn't want to worry you, but I just really needed to be alone. Well, if you were having trouble, I could have helped you. I needed to take care of it myself. Look, after I lost Becky and Macy and the family that I was trying to create with Amber and little Eric, it was too much, Mom. I couldn't handle it. And I knew that you were hurting and I wanted to be here for you, but I just couldn't. Oh, baby, nobody expected you to. That doesn't change the fact that I wanted to. Come on, Mom. Been looking out for you ever since I was a little kid. Since Dad left. But I just got to a point where I didn't know how to do it anymore. You know, I, I couldn't help you. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't protect Macy. I, I felt so powerless. So I needed to get some distance, you know, focus on school and throw myself into my work. <laughs> Just like your mom here. <laughs> yeah, well, I should have known it wouldn't work. Why, honey, was it school? Didn't you do well? No, 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 I did great. Best grades I've ever gotten. I mean, the things I'm learning at business school, Mom, it, it's amazing. But I love my family. I just missed you guys too much. <laughs> and we missed you, baby. So very much. I wanted to come home, Mom. I mean, believe me, I thought about it all the time. I would talk to you on the phone and I would think, okay, this weekend I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna go. But I never did. And I didn't because I wasn't ready to face reality. I really thought that if I just stayed away and put this place out of my mind, I could forget. I could forget everything bad that happened. But I couldn't, and... and the truth is, I was afraid. Of what? Of losing you two. Oh, darling, you're not gonna lose me. I'm staying put. I'm staying right here. Me, and Darla, and your father. Honey, we're all here, and we're all okay. <laughs> we are doing great, CJ, just great. Yeah. I was away for so long, I just so worried everything would be different. No, nothing's different. And you're here with us, where you belong. We're your family, CJ. And we love you. I love you too, Mom. It's good to be home. <laughs> Massimo, if something's going on between Brooke and my mother, 
I wish you would tell me right now. Ridge, it's nothing for you to be concerned about. Yeah, you don't know their history. You take care of the showing. I will deal with Stephanie. So you think something is going on? No. Believe me, your mother can handle it. So why are you acting so worried? I'm not. It's just, uh, I thought you should have called me by now. But she's not at your house? No, she went out for the evening. Massimo, you think she's with Brooke? I'm not sure. But if she is with Brooke, Brooke is the one we should be concerned about. Bridget, why don't, would you go into Do you the... want me to pour some water? Uh, uh, no, 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 not if someone's coming. I, I was thinking maybe just crush some ice and your mother could suck on that. I begged her not to come up here because I knew this is exactly what you would do. You'd twist everything around, come up with a lot of excuses. And I want to tell you something. I don't know what you said while I was outside, but you've lost that girl. There's nothing that you can ever say or do where she'll trust you again. Stop it. Do you realize the humiliation you've put her through? Do you understand that? And now you want her to stay here and witness you giving birth to to Deacon's child. What do you want me to do, Stephanie? Tell her to leave? I want to take her with me. I'll send John, the caretaker, back up here, and he'll stay with you till the doctor comes. Oh, my God, what are you trying to do? Punish me? OK, that is fine. But whatever you do, do not take this out of my baby. And I'm having the baby now, Stephanie, so if you're not going to help me. I will. No, Bridget. Look, Stephanie, I don't like this any more than you do. But there's no other way. You're gonna need my help. You can't deliver this baby alone. Well, this place looks great. Looks like you're doing okay, Mom. Yeah, well, I picked up a few items of furniture from France. Wanted to make sure that everybody knows that Spectra Fashions is in the black. All right, Sally Spectra. Uh, well, I guess uh, Brooke and Ridge must be going out of their minds right about now. What do you mean, honey? It's pretty ironic, don't you think? I mean, Spectra has finally found its groove and Forrester's coming completely unglued. You do know what's going on over there, right? Ridge got fired and Brooke is relying on Amber Amber Moore to give Forrester its new collection. <laughs> Can you believe that? Brooke and Amber working together? Yeah, well, I think uh, Amber was a very foolish girl to have anything to do with Brooke. I think that woman is dangerous. She destroys everything and everyone she touches. Yeah, well, she certainly did a number on Ridge. You know, I still can't believe that she actually fired him. But in my book, it serves him right. After the way he's treated you and dad over the years, Mr. High and Mighty Head Designer. It's about time he got some bad press. Oh man, there were so many great articles, Mom. I mean, I'm sure you saw them. I think, I think my favorite was uh, Crown Prince Dethroned. I figured you'd have him framed and up on the wall by now. Oh yeah, well believe me, I, uh, I thought about it, decided against it. Listen, uh, CJ, there's something you ought to know. Sally, I've got those quarterly reports that I was gonna... CJ, you're here. Uh, yeah, I am. What are you doing here? Sally, you want to explain this, or do you want me to? Explain what? Mom, what the hell is going on here? CJ, as you have uh, probably noticed, we uh, have made some changes around here since you've been gone. Yeah, yeah, what kind of changes? Wait a minute. You didn't hire him, did you? Oh, no, no, I didn't hire him. Ridge works for a man named Massimo Moroni. So? Moroni Industries, you've probably heard of it. Y yeah, the shipping company. Yeah, that's one branch of our business. We have others, though. 
Our holdings are actually quite diverse. I don't get it. CJ, Marone Industries owns Spectra Fashions now. What? We recently acquired your mother's company. Wh how? What did you do? Mom, did he buy up all your loans? Is that what he did? No, CJ. We made your mother an offer she couldn't refuse. Oh, so you threatened her? No, we paid her and we paid her handsomely. Mom? CJ, let me explain. Well, okay. You sold it? Let me get this right. You sold Spectra to a forester? No, not really. Now, technically, Spectra Fashions is a subsidiary of Morone Industries. I am now Spectra's CEO. You? <laughs> oh, my God. Mom, what have you done? What I had to do. We were in terrible trouble financially, CJ. We needed help. Yeah, and why is this company in terrible financial trouble, huh? It's because of him. Mom, his entire family is responsible for every bad thing that has ever happened to us. All of our financial problems, Macy's death, and now you're just gonna hand him the company? The company that you wanted me to run someday? CJ, there's always gonna be a place for you in this company. Wait, excuse me? No, I don't want anything from you. Couldn't beat us, could you? You couldn't force Spectra out of business, so you bought us up. Mom, God, how, how could you let this happen after everything we have sacrificed, after everything we have been through? How could you fall for this con job? It isn't a con job, CJ. Actually, Ridge wants the same thing for this company that we have always wanted. We want to see it at the top of the L.A. fashion scene, right? We want to beat Forrester Creations at its own game. <laughs> he is a Forrester. Yes, but he doesn't work there anymore. Well, I don't care. I'll never work for him. I don't care how much money he throws at me. I'd rather die than work for a forester. And I can't believe that you do. Stephanie, thank God you're here. You have four kids, so you know what to do, right? Yes, I have four children that were delivered by doctors in a hospital, which is exactly where we should be going right now. But we're not. We're not. We're going to have the baby right here. I don't believe this. I just don't believe it. And you think this is what I wanted? You think this is how I expected this moment would be? Well, nobody forced you to come up here, did they? You told me that Bridget came up here to see her friend in a boating accident. She was going to spend the night in the cabin. Well, now she is, thanks to you. Oh, you two, please stop. We have to get ready. Just uh, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. You're not going to do anything. Oh. Nothing. Stephanie, we need, we need towels, we need hot water, antiseptic. I think there's some rubbing alcohol in the bathroom. Stay here with your mother. I'll take care of everything. I'll find something to spread myself with. They could still make it. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't talk, okay? Please. Oh, please just let me explain. Not now, okay? This isn't the time. Oh! Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. What? 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 What is it? What? What? Oh. 